Hello everybody, it's me Laura again, and today I'd like to warmly welcome you to some soft-spoken character creation gameplay of Baldur's Gate 3. So feel free to sit back and relax as I make a character in Baldur's Gate. So, if you don't know what Baldur's Gate is, it is a role-playing series by Alarian Studios, and it follows the Dungeons and Dragons system. But the one thing that is very exciting, amongst many other elements of this game, is the very detailed character creation, and so I'll show you the character creation for Baldur's Gate 3. So we're gonna do a new game on Explorer. Now we're not doing any gameplay, just character creation. There's a definitely plenty of content for that. Okay, so for Baldur's Gate 3, you can customize so many different parts of your character. So we're going to go through that today. So you can pick an origin character. You have Asterion, Lacelle, Gale, Shadowheart, Will, Karlak, and the Dark Urge. But we're going to make a custom character. So... We have an elf with ethereal countenances and long lifespans. Elves are at home with nature's power, flourishing in light and dark alike. So I have already started playing Baldur's Gate 3, and I currently have a tiefling cleric. So this is what that one is, but we're going to make something different today. Tiefling. Descended from devils of the Nine Hells, Tieflings face constant suspicion in Faerun. Thankfully, their arcane abilities make them natural survivors. Drow. Driven to the Underdark, most Drow have adopted a ruthless pragmatism. While the Lulth's sworn delight in the goddess' evil tenets, the Seldarin reject her attempt to overthrow the leader of the elven pantheon. Human The most common face in Faerun, humans are known for their tenacity, creativity, and endless capacity for growth. Githyanki With a ruthlessness born from mind flayer enslavement, Githyanki ride the astral sea atop red dragons bringing their silver swords and psionic might to bear against any trace of the illithid menace. Dwarf As durable and unyielding as their homes of stone, dwarves are some of the finest warriors, miners, and smiths of Faerun. Half-elf Curious, ambitious, and versatile, half-elves are welcome everywhere but struggle without a community to call their own. Halfling Small yet capable, halflings prefer the comforts of home and hearth, but their natural luck and dexterity make them fine adventurers. Gnome Small, clever, and energetic, gnomes use their long lives to explore Faerun's brightest corners and darkest depths. Dragonborn, a proud race that values clan and skills above all else. Once enslaved by dragons, they strive to be self-sufficient, not wanting to be beholden to anyone, not even the gods. Half-orc, creatures of intense emotion, half-orcs are more inclined to act than contemplate. Whether the rage burning their bodies compels them to fight, 
or the love filling their hearts inspires acts of incredible kindness. So we're going to go with a drill. Um, this was the race I was deciding against the tiefling with, but I'm going to make a draw this time. So the race features are base racial speed, you can move 9, I'm assuming meters per turn, draw weapon training, you have proficiency with the rapier, short sword, and hand crossbow, superior dark vision, can see in the dark up to 24 meters, Fey Ancestry. You have advantage on saving throws against being charmed, and magic can't put you to sleep. Our weapons are simple weapons, martial weapons, rapiers, short swords, and hand crossbows, though I think based on perhaps the other traits that might change the weapons. So let's work on the appearance before we move on to the other part. So you can see there's such a beautiful detailing in all of the races. So let's go through them. We have the body types. So we can pick a man or a woman. I'm going to go for a woman. So I think we have one and three. Let's go for three with no, and then we have the head choices. So I think I'm gonna go with head four, I like that one. And let's see, we have skin color and scarring. Let's see, for the skin color, I think I like more of the blue shades. That's a nice color. That's ash tone four. So keep that in mind. That's nice. I think I'm more gonna go towards the gray tones. Or the blue gray tones. Mm. Not keen on the pink. But you can see you have so many choices. I think I'll go maybe ash tone three. I'm not sure. It's tricky. Hmm. That's quite nice, Dusk Tone 3. I think I'm going to go with Ash Tone 3. Let's just check the others. It's quite nice too, though. Or four. Three or four. Let's go with four for now. See if we change it. Okay, now to scarring. This hairstyle is kind of getting in the way, so I'm gonna start with no hair, just so I can get a good idea. I think I'm gonna go with no scarring. I like the subtlety and the maturing. No yeah, petalico pigmentation. Okay, so I think I'm going to leave it at that and we'll move on to body art. So I was contemplating body art for my tiefling, 
but I decided against it. But there are really lots of nice choices. I think by starting with a bald head, you can just see a lot easier. That's nice. A little probably too modern day, though. That's quite nice how it goes over the ears. That's nice. That's nice, too, actually. Really nice if you have a bald character. Otherwise, you kind of don't really see the whole... This was the one that I was going to go for with my tiefling. I was going to do it in like a, like a light light, but see, kind of gives it something, but I don't think so. Let's go back to black. That's cool, but I think a lot of these just work better bold characters. I think we're just gonna stick with none. But let's look at piercing stars. We have fasten stars. Nope. Lapis stud muffin. Subdua loops. Midnight tears. Silver gold gala. Dark moons. Red scintilla. Cholton serpents. That's quite nice. Crimson Hill Dirks, that's also really pretty. Barovia Fangs, also nice. Minotaur Ring, Easy Breezy. Archface Swirls, I like that one a lot. Commoner Ring, Bard Rings. Let's see. Commoner Ring, Bard Rings. I think I'm gonna go with... Bard rings or arch face walls? I think I'm gonna go arch face walls. Nope, whoops. Um, not eyes. So we can do heterochromia or just two of the same color. You can see the color changes there. But I think I'm gonna go with both the same color. We'll have to decide on a colour. Let's have a look. I don't think I want the demonic colours. Those definitely work on the tieflings, but not really on um, a draw, I think. I like the dark eye colour. Especially as you look farther away, the red is nice too, but I feel like the lighter colours are just a bit lost, honestly. So, I'm thinking probably black. That's really nice, just black one. That's too much. We'll do black one. I'll show you a couple of others though. See, that's really, really nice again, but just not on the character I want to make. I think I want to make a... Um, good-hearted character. That's actually quite nice for purple. That you could probably get away with because it's striking enough. It's too much again. You could get away with that one too. Probably this one the most though. But I think I'm gonna go with um, just black. Okay, and now makeup. We have lots of different options. That's a nice one, makeup five. I think I'm probably gonna go with five. I love the, the uh, blended out smokiness. So now we can adjust the intensity, metallic level, and glossy tint level. I didn't do this on my previous character because I thought this was only a lipstick thing for some reason. Um, so we're going to do this now. And 
was having a look at some colors before and I really loved the reds. Like, look at that red fall. Amazing. So I think I might go with red five. That just looks incredible. But you can see the absolute beauty in the detailing there. And this is what happens when you take away the glassiness. It's storming outside. I'm not sure if you can hear that or not. But we're definitely adding glass. I think it just adds a little bit more attention to the eye. See, if you take it away, but then add it. And this is what metallic does. Kind of adds a little richness to it. Take glossy away and then look at metallic. Just adds a little bit more depth. So we're going to do full on metallic and full on glossy. That's really nice too, actually, brown six. But, ooh, that's pretty too. Burgundy's really nice, actually. Wait, burgundy and red five are about identical. Hmm. So I think we're gonna go with red five. I really like that one. And now we're gonna do the lip tint. So I only want a little bit of color. Um, nothing too um, bright. So I'm gonna bring the intensity all the way down. Just so that, can you see there's just a slight change in color? I just want something pretty delicate, like um, red cold for that's really, really nice. Let's see what a gloss does. Actually, adds a little bit of richness. That's the metallic. See, that's a really nice look in general, but, hmm, let's see, I'm only going to do a slight bit of gloss, just enough to add a little bit of health to the lip, I don't know about the colour, maybe one lighter, no, too much, too much gloss. Like maybe actually that's right quite nice. Hmm. Nope. That's really nice, but I I want slightly less slightly more colour than that. I think we're going to be in the reds or browns. I think I like red cold five the most. I think it balances the look the nicest. So I'm going to go with that. And now hair, which is really going to bring the look together because it's incredible how much hair can change you. So... I like that one. That's really nice. That's really nice. That's really nice too. That could work for male or female characters. That's nice too, but I don't like the space buns. That's nice. To a pirate's not? Yeah, that's really pretty. We'll go through the others. That's nice too, I like that one. That's nice too. Mm. 
don't like that one. That's nice. It's a shame it's not longer. I don't like how much that covers their face. That's nice. Mm. That's nice too. So I think we're going to go with the Tropirus Knot one. I like that one the most. There we go. Yeah, I just think that's really, really nice. Now let's change the hair color. Let's see. Let's keep the highlight semi-similar. So, I don't want those sorts of colors, but I'm also not looking for super bright. That's actually really nice. White three. Okay. Yeah, nothing too bright. So that's actually quite pretty. I like that. That's nice too, just just too bright for the character though. Even the lightest one you I don't think you could get away with. Um That's nice. That green. That's nice too. But I think the white three just adds a slight bit of colour. Amazing all the different blonde shades there are. That's nice too. Feels like that's more of a green and that's more of a blue. That's more of a cream. That's more of a grey. Hmm. This one seems to look the nicest. I think I'm gonna go with white four. Let's have a look at the highlights. It was really pretty the way they go through it and then complement the face. I think I'm gonna keep it pretty similar though to the um, hair color. Blue is nice. I like the way it blends in. I like that. I'm going to go with that. And no facial hair. So that's that done. And now we're going to go to our sub race. We have two sub race choices. We have Lolth's Sworn Drow, raised by Lolth's cult in the city of Menzo Baranzan. These Drow embody the virtues of their corrupt and merciless goddess. Lolth marks her followers with bright red eyes, so those in the Underdark will learn to fear them on sight. Seldrin Drow can be found seeking allies from all over Faerun aiming to settle their conflict with Loth and each other by any means necessary. So I want a good, um, hearted character. I noticed it just changed my character's appearance. So I think I'd have to do that all again. So for the sake of this, I'm gonna stick with the Lulzwandro. 
just for the sake of that. But, um, whoops, oh well, this is a soldier and draw. Okay, so now for classes, we have Barbarian. The strong embrace the wild that hides inside. Keen instincts, primal physicality, and most of all, an unbridled, unquenchable rage. I don't think so. Bard. You know music is more than a fancy, it is power. Through study and adventure, you have mastered song, speech, and the magic within. No. Cleric. Clerics are representatives of the gods they worship, wielding potent divine magic for good or ill. I already had a cleric, so I'm not going to pass on that. Druid. Druids channel the elemental forces of nature and share a deep kinship with animals. Mastery of wild shape allows them to transform into beasts from all over the realms. Maybe. Fighter. Fighters have mastered the art of combat, wielding weapons with unmatched skill and wearing armor like a second skin. Maybe. Monk. Channel your cosmic enlightenment by deftly dodging and efficiently disassembling your foes through stunning strikes and a whirlwind of martial art attacks. No. Paladin. Fueled by the oath you swore to uphold justice and righteousness, you are a beacon of hope in dark times. Classic choice, but not the playstyle I'm going for. Ranger. Rangers are unrivaled scouts and trackers, honing a deep connection with nature in order to hunt their favoured prey. No. Rogue. With stealth, skill, and uncanny reflexes, Rogue's versatility lets them get the upper hand in almost any situation. I've never really enjoyed being a rogue in anything. Sorcerer. Sorcerers are natural spellcasters drawing on inherent magic from a gift or bloodline. That one sounds fun. Warlock. Bound by a pact to an all-powerful patron, warlocks trade their loyalty for supernatural abilities and unique magic. Maybe. Wizard. Wizards master the arcane by specializing in individual schools of magic, combining ancient spells with modern research. So I think I'm going to pick either a sorcerer or a warlock. I think I'm going to go with a sorcerer. That sounds like the most fun. I feel like it's going to bother me if I don't switch out the... ...sections. I think I'm actually going to do that really quickly. Oh, I didn't do the voice anyway. So there we go. anywhere I can actually like go back to this one and then just try to remember everything let's see Ashtone for black one I'm never gonna remember this okay okay Red five, no black one, and then the makeup was makeup five, and it was all of these red five, and then the hair was the oh no, when I see it. One. Hold on, I'm gonna look real quick. It was white four teal one. Yeah, 
There we go. And then the makeup is was something like this. I've forgotten all on. I didn't know it changed it. I should have checked. Red call to five. Gloss, probably a little bit of that. Yeah, and then we did piercings, which was the these. There we go. There we go. That wasn't so bad. Let's see how close did we get. I don't know if they have a different appearance. There we go. Alright, all sorted. Alright, carry on. Cantrips. Let's have a look. I pretty much just like to keep what's there. I don't want to follow guides or anything. Some people um, edit their character and choose their character based on um, a specific playstyle they're going for or um, specific abilities that they would like to have. I think I'm going to keep this the way it is though. Spells. We have Chromatic Orb and Magic Missile. Again, I think I like to leave these as they are. There are some good options though. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave that as it is. And subclass, so we have three. The Wild Magic, Draconic Bloodline and Storm Sorcery. So, wild magic. Your powers come from ancient forces of chaos. They churn within you, waiting to burst free at any time. Tides of chaos and wild magic. Wild magic stems from the forces of chaos. It churns within the sorcerers that wield it, waiting to burst free. Draconic Bloodline. Your veins carry draconic magic, the result of a powerful dragon ancestor. Dragon-like scales cover parts of your skin. When you aren't wearing armor, your base armor class is 13. Storm Sorcery. Whether crackling with the energy of ancient deluges or pierced by gales and hurricanes, your lineage is a strange tapestry scrawled by a tempest. Okay, you can fly. After you cast a level 1 spell or higher, you can fly as a bonus action until the end of your turn. Sounds pretty fun. I think wild magic sounds the best though. So our weapons now are daggers, quarterstaffs, light crossbows, rapiers, short swords, and hand crossbows. Our skills currently are arcana, religion, insight, perception, and persuasion. Background probably changes that. Okay. So now we're going to choose the background for our character. So we're going to make a good hearted character. So acolyte, you have spent your life in service to a temple learning sacred rites and providing sacrifices to the god or gods you worship. Serving the gods and discovering their sacred works will guide you to greatness. Charlatan. You're an expert in manipulation, prone to exaggeration and more than happy to profit from it. Bending the truth and turning allies against each other will lead to great, greater success down the road. I don't think so. Criminal. You have a history of breaking the law and survive by leveraging less than legal connections. Profiting from criminal enterprise will lead to great opportunities in the future. You know. Entertainer. You live to sway and subvert your audience, engaging common crowds and high society alike, preserving art and bringing joy to the hapless and downtrodden heightens your charismatic aura. Folk hero. You're a champion of the common people, challenging tyrants and monsters to protect the helpless. Saving innocence in imminent danger will make your legend grow. Maybe? Guild Artisan. Your skill in a particular craft has earned you membership in a mercantile guild, offering privileges and protection while engaging in your art. Repairing and discovering rare crafts will bring new inspiration. Noble. You are raised in a family among the social elite, accustomed to power and privilege. 
accumulating renown, power, and loyalty will raise your status. Okay? I don't think so. Outlander, you grew up in the wilds, learning to survive far from the comforts of civilization. Surviving unusual hazards of the wild will enhance your prowess and understanding. Maybe. Sage, you are curious and well-read, with an unending thirst for knowledge. Learning about rare lore of the world will inspire you to put this knowledge to greater purpose. Maybe. Soldier, you are trained in battlefield tactics and combat, having served in a militia, mercenary company, or officer corps. Show smart tactics and bravery on the battlefield to enhance your prowess. Maybe. After surviving a poor and bleak childhood, you know how to make the most out of very little. Using your street smarts bolsters your spirit for the journey ahead. Sea urchin. So out of all those, I like the folk hero, the outlander, and the sage. Let's see what that changes. I like the fact it has animal handling. Influence animals, pet all of the dogs. Very nice. I just feel like there's a lot of useful skills. So I think we're going to do Outland or Folk Hero. There's something really fun about the animal one. We're going to do Folk Hero. That sounds like fun. Okay, and abilities, we're going to leave that as it is. For the character name, we're just going to go and make something that I always base my usernames from, it's my own username, and we're gonna just chuck a guardian together real quick, so we'll do an elf, so we have two choices of elf, we have a high elf and a wood elf, high elf, heirs of the mystical feywild, high elves value magic in all its forms, and even those who do not study spellcraft can manipulate the weave, wood elf. These elves spend their reclusive lives in Faerun's forests. Decades of training in archery and camouflage are enhanced by an otherworldly swiftness. I feel like that complements my character, so I think we're going to do a wood elf. We get two choices. Okay. I'm getting rid of the green though. Or at least that shade of green. I like that. That's nice. Do a moon tone to actually see what these ones like. I don't like the grey tones as much. Mm. Oh wow, that's actually really nice. Look at that. I think we're going to do a moon tone. I think we're doing moon tone three. I like that a lot. 
No scarring, no body art. That's pretty. I think the darker color suits them better. I think something more fun suits them. That's what they suggested. Um, that's nice. Gray is nice too. I don't think something very light suits them. That's nice. I mean like um like that doesn't work and that doesn't really work. Um I like that. It's not very fun though. Actually, I like that. I'm going to stick to that. That's purple one. Okay, makeup. I kind of like what they've got going on. Something just simple. That's where glossiness I don't think works. Amazing the change with makeup, what it can do, no glossiness, I think we're just going to stick to black on this one, yeah, and I don't really think I want to go with anything else, yeah, I like that one, and the lip color actually is just really nice as it is. Is that my character's hair already? It is. It's, it's a great hairstyle. Um, I think I just like that one. The one that my other character has. Yeah, we're just gonna keep that one. I think we're gonna switch from brown though. Purple or something. I like that. That's too bright. I'm just looking for like a dimmer version. That's nice. So this or this. What if we change the highlight pieces? I'm not 
not sure where to go with this one. Actually, that's quite nice, the contrast, two shades. I like that one. I think we'll do blue. Because that's got the same like pop of colour, but it's not too actually. I think I prefer that shade that was blue four. That's nice too. So aqua four, blue four. More green or more blue. I think blue four. And something dark as a compliment. I like that actually, that looks nice. See now I like that colour, what is that? Blue 9? I don't think they have blue 9. Yeah, I think I'm gonna stick with that. And then reduce this. Change the color, maybe. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so that is my character and guardian created a new video game video has been requested for quite a long time and I thought that this might be a fun video game ASMR video for you so I really hope that you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching this video today. Take care everybody. Goodbye.